M0FXB, just a quick one here on the ICOM 7300 Mark II and a Mac PC. So you can download this program called SDR Control. Now, unfortunately, it's not the lowest priced program and you can add it to your your iPad and your iPhone. Your iPhone is probably the, the lowest price and the iPhone version will actually work on the iPad, but it's smaller. Uh, so here it is here and the connection settings and this is via Wi-Fi. Uh, oops, sorry, via the Ethernet cable, and it's now wireless with my other devices. But there is a physical Ethernet cable connected um, to the 700 Mark II and my broadband router. And the settings, you just go menu. Just make this a bit bigger here. You plug in your cable, and they do want you to reboot when you do this. Set network, and go to the top. And once you plug the cable in and make sure that it's on, yeah, um, then it gives you an IP address after you reboot. Mine is 192.168.1.59. Then go down to the main one is remote settings. Uh, network user and you create the username and password. So I've got a password in there, Raspberry 6 and a username as well. M0FXB just for now. Uh, and I've given it network administration on that. And I think that's all I don't think I did much else. We just go to connections. Uh, da, 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 the CIV, I've actually changed it to uh, 94.8 because I was playing around with, which is what it is on the, on the 7300 Mark 1. But use your default CIV as long as it matches. And then, so you can see now, and don't forget, I can go in any room now with my Mac PC, and it, it'll be the same with any other, whether you're using your Mac, your iPhone and that, the process is the same. So if I just quickly exit, so what happens when you're using it here, of course you can, let's minimize the radio a bit more. You can, you know, click on it and change the frequency, right click and you can change the frequency just here by just typing it in if you want. 7.1565, there you are, enter. Of course, it's not going to work for me now that I want it to. You can move the frequency, change band, look at that beautiful display. And um, you've got A and B. You see the radio changing and your modes. Now, the real big thing that you get with this system, I think, uh, let me just quickly show you the settings here. And so when you're connected, look, the CIV, it wants the IP address, the username and password, and then it just connects. It's that easy. You can play around with your sound, TX sounds so sat here and transit, transverter there. The big one is this. Uh, go click on the the modes and look at all these modes. If we click FTA, like so, and click select a valid frequency, of course, 40 meters, it, it switches it for us. We don't actually have to do anything. Um, so let's just give it a minute and see if that kicks in. And this is just one very small part of this software. Yeah, it's set it to USB D. There it is. It started to kick in, and you could you can actually transmit as well. Which I'll, I'll do in another video. So that's why people love this software. It does everything for you. It's not like the RSBA one. Um, and you can. Um, you can use, let me just come out of it a minute and go back there, or back to LSB there. Of course, you've got all your settings here, preamp, filters, noise blanker, noise reduction, all here. If you go back to the tools, look at all these. And then the RC28 controller, which I have got here. Um, not sure if it's connected at the moment. I mean, I'll plug it in, um, just for fun, because I've got it here on my hand and 
I don't know if it will detect it, but I've just plugged it in and then we'll select it. Uh, and then uh, I'm just hoping it finds it. <laughs> well, it's there. It does say not connected though. So I feel like you need to sort of reboot it. But I have connected it to my Apple Mac. Uh, that's it. So I'll just turn it and see what happens. No, no, no. But I don't want to start rebooting things now. Tools. CTR controllers. I've got one of them. We'll test that. SAT, Meteor, CW Kia, Network Status, Band Plan. Look at all that. Tuning panel, PTT, Windows, you can minimize it. Settings, quit. If I get quit, we're not connected. Then I'll go to connect. There's been an update. Look at that, especially for the Mark II and the, the an update on the receiver there. Thanks to Marcus DLA MRE. Click OK, then you hit connect. And then you put in your IP address and password. So look, I look at it, 7300705, WFU, even the Zygo X6100, I got it to connect. Um, but it's not really designed for that. Connect. And there we are. Let's see if it detects the, the controller now. Just trying it now. And hang on a minute. Uh, let's get my volume. Uh, with the Mac, you can select where you're listening, where what you're going to hear it to. You can actually hear it coming out of the Mac PC. Let's just finish up by just checking that controller. Uh, now, it still thinks it's not connected. Probably, I'll give it permission, I would say, because uh, I've definitely plugged it in. And uh, no, nothing happening right now. I'm pressing buttons. Uh, I did drop it today, actually. Um, maybe it's that. I'll try it on my RSBA1 software. And you'll find that the RSBA1 software is virtually identical in setup, the RSBA1 to the SDR control. Um, and that's, that's worth remembering. So thanks for watching. Of course, there's more to this. And there's a disconnect button here. Let's see if it will turn off the radio. And then we'll end the video. So just going to make the radio bigger, like so. And then we're going to go turn off. And it went off. Connect. As long as you don't power down, it should still connect. Ta da! Uh, still no controller though. I'm a bit worried that I broke it when I dropped it. Bye for now. Testing very soon. 7 3, all the best. Thanks for watching.